Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with another tutorial, and um, today's tutorial is well, I don't have a name for it, but it's basically when you know you've got a really nice clip um, on the game you're playing, FIFA, Modern Warfare, whatever you're playing, and it's kind of ruined by someone sending you a party invite or you know a game invite. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, you know how to save this clip and in fact make it look ten times better. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you what we're going to do. So here, this was just a private match that I just did for this tutorial to show you. It's me failing on doing a 720. But as you can see, I'll just pause it. I'm at the top of a um, terminal, and f this one I just tried to do a 720, but a bit of a fail because I'm no good at trick shooting. But I'm just going to show you how to do it. So it, at the top right corner now, you see uh, the notification come in, which would probably ruin a clip having that there. But now what we've done is we've changed it to say how about a 720 no scope and then press play and as you can see I do a 720 kind of stop, fail and then kill the guy. So yeah that's how you can save a really nice clip and like I said make it better by putting something in that box. Um, I think somebody showed you how to do this on After Effects but obviously a lot of you guys are still using Sony Vegas so I'm going to show you how to do it in Vegas as it's a lot different from you know the After Effects way of doing it. Um, so first of all, jump straight into Sony Vegas, and this is a clip that I had. Um, what you want to do straight away is add three more video lines. So go over to the left here, right click here, and go to insert video track. Do that three times, two, three. And what we want them to do is click on the top where here. Um, depends whether you want the audio or not, but just click on the top where. Press U on the keyboard to undo it from the audio. So now you can click on this top where so it's gone blue, hold control and drag it up to the second where down. So as you can see now we've got a free space here, the where, free space and then the original clip. So what we want to do now is go over to where it says media generators here and we want to go to solid colour on the left and grab the grey one for now and put this on the third where down. Like so. Um, and then what we're going to do now is on the second layer we're going to do a bit of masking so you do need to have the pro version of Sony Vegas to do this click on this button here at the end of the video clip event pan crop and what we're going to do is we're going to um, on the ta go to the first keyframe um, so you don't need to go to the first keyframe you got you scroll across until you see the notification come in um, so it's about um, there for me you want to do it when it's fully come in like this. I don't know how it works on PlayStation but I'm sure it's pretty similar. Um, then go to your zoom tool here click so you can get a better view of it. Um, then click the mask tool make sure that box is checked and go up to your anchor creation tool. Grab that and then what you want to do is just go stay on the inside of the the grey notification and just make a box around the text so as you'll see in a minute we're going to be totally blocking the text out and then make sure where it says mode here go to set to negative and then close that down so as you can see now we have blocked out the um, the text that was initially there but obviously the grey is not the same colour so all you need to do is on the actual um, grey solid colour you put on the third line is click this button here the generated media click that and then you'll see um, like the, the pen tool this is how we can change the colour of that so click that and then go over to your clip up here in the preview box and click the dark of it which is still which isn't masked out like that okay not like that <laughs> well I, did, I must have clicked it back then but there we go so you go to the pen tool and click the grey like that so now the whole xbox live notification is perfectly grey the way it should look um, then what we want to do is obviously if i clicked at the beginning of the video here you'd see that the the whole block is there which we don't want we want it to come in with the notification so what you want to do is you want to find the part where the Xbox Live notification starts to come in, where it's nearly full size. So for me, it's about there. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to zoom in and press S on the keyboard to split that, and then delete that first part like that. So now, this will happen quite fast in game, so you won't see like any imperfections. Use your arrow keys to go across, and now as you can see, it's coming nicely and it'll shrink like that. So you've got the full notification, and then all you need to do is go to the end of where the notification starts to disappear which for me is 
about to keep going across there for me so what I'd do is then press S on the keyboard and delete the end part of it so now if we were to watch it I'll just drop it down as we're recording um, and I'll mute the audio there we go so if you're watching the preview box now go to the beginning of the clip you'll see the notification comes in it's still blank at the moment do the 720 no scope and it disappeared like that so all it's simply left to do is add the text so this is what your top wear is for go to insert text media and this is where obviously you can get creative you can type anything you want in here so all I did was um, how about uh, a 720 no scope just like that obviously the text is pretty big so we want to um, drop this all the way down to about let's say I think around 16 yeah we'll try 16 for now um, I'll take it off bold for the minute and then all you do is go over to your placement tool here second tab and drag that up to about there like so so another little thing you can do is obviously you can have the 720 no scope a bit bigger so we'll just highlight the top part and maybe drop that down to 14 so as you can see now if I just put that back on best full you've now got in the top right corner here how about a 720 no scope uh, but obviously that needs to come in the same time as the grey so drag this over to here and just go to the top left corner of it and drag a slight fade like that so you see the diagonal line and then drag it to the end of the grey level with that and do the same a small little fade like that so if you press play now from the start you see me at the top, how about a 720 no scope? There we go, do the fin, spin, and then it fades out. So that's how to do it. Um, obviously, if you're adding a color correction or anything like that, I'll just show you. Um, go to video effects, and let's say we're using levels or color curves. Say you were to drag the level levels effect onto this uh, timeline here like this, you'd now notice that the um, the gray part is not the same so all you need to do is just go back to that um, generated media on the solid gray tab click that <coughs> and then go to your pen tool again and click the outside bit like that so now it's perfect to the same color so just to make you aware because obviously a lot of you are probably doing color corrections or adding effects just to always go back to the gray layer and make it the same color as the bit that wasn't masked out so that's how to do the um, <laughs> the notification effect um, adding your own text in there um, as always if you've got any questions or queries send me a message and any if uh, any new subscribers um, you know I've got world of tutorials on my channel um, so come check those out and um, yeah have a nice day cheers guys